Hi guys, so I have just re-watched this video back and I just want to say there is a little bit mishmash, okay? It is, and I tried to script this, I tried to say, oh, point X, point Y, point Z, this is what's going on, on at Forest, but it didn't feel right, it didn't feel natural, and it didn't feel like it came from the heart, so I'm going to leave it how it is, and, and this is my actual reaction, my actual thoughts, off the cuff, no script, maybe a little bit harsh, I'm not really one to criticise players publicly, but I have a little bit in this one. But yeah, here's my opinion. Also, this is not anger. I, I have just noticed this. My, my contact lens slipped, so I'm not that seething, okay? Not that seething, but enjoy the video. Hi guys, and welcome back to the Charlie K YouTube channel. And what is a very strange day for all Forest fans, I would say. I'm recording this on the Tuesday night. I expect it'll probably be up by Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, but there are rumours circling at the moment, and it may have happened by the time this is up, that Steve Cooper is going to be sacked as Nottingham Forest manager after eight games of the Premier League season and four points picked up in that time. And I feel so deflated as a Forest fan and the sort of miracle that Steve Cooper performed last season, taking us from bottom of the championship to promotion after 23 years and, and proven managers in the championship and, and club icons alike could not do that. Cooper did that with a handicap of being bottom of the league after 10 games. It's insane that that's not enough credit to last eight games. And then you add the fact that we've signed 23 players, a lot of those probably not his own. He probably hasn't signed half of those players, not wanted to. And yet there's now consideration that after eight games, this squad is supposed to be a team and, and it's Cooper's fault that it isn't. And it is shocking. It is upsetting. And as you can tell, a bit of a different video, a bit of a different tone. I am I am very worried for my football club. I feel like we thought that things were back on track. I know that the Maranakis era probably got off to a little bit of a shaky start, but we thought, actually, this guy knows what he's doing. He brought in Dane Murphy, who he now looks like he's going to fire. And we thought originally that was a great signing. He's not been allowed to do what he wants to do. And I've, I've seen that maybe he's not a popular figure around the club, Murphy. But he's good at his job. He's very good at his job. Look at what he did for Barnsley. Let this man do his job and he will do it well. And the same goes for Steve Cooper. So the fact that we're in this position is, is horrifying. But here we are. And what I want to discuss today is what I think is going wrong at Forest and, and the alternatives and how, how we're going to live life without Steve Cooper if that is going to be the case. So before we get into the video, please do hit that like button and subscribe. It means the absolute world for me. That was very like dancey movie, jazzy handy thing. That was even worse hands um but yeah please do subscribe it means the absolute world and yeah let's get into this 4-0 defeat against Leicester was obviously not the result we wanted 19th against 20th at the time we needed something we needed a big result after those two pretty pretty shocking performances against Fulham and Bournemouth alike and it just got worse it was probably the worst it, it was the worst performance of the season by a long way I think that first half in particular was actually probably the worst 45 minutes I've seen for Forest in a couple of years it was pitiful to say the least but we're not a team and I'll keep saying it this squad most of them haven't been in Nottingham training because of international break for more than a month and a half and that's barely even a pre-season length so to expect Forest to be at the same standard as teams that were were already gelled and have been gelled for years is impossible but we needed to is the argument we signed we, we lost 18 players we had to sign 23 and maybe we did maybe we did but to then see that fact and not understand that Cooper needs more time is baffling to me. But it'd be really boring if I just said, oh yeah, it's because we're not a team. So I will pick up a few things that I think are going wrong for uh, Forrest at the moment. And number one is that I think the, the, and this is probably the only criticism really I have of Cooper's team selection, is the naivety of the defensive selection and this comes from both formation and probably the personnel I think the fact that we're playing Scott McKenna and and Steve Cook and I know McKenna hadn't put a foot wrong before coming to the Premier League don't get me wrong big fan of Scott McKenna but currently judging off form you don't you don't start him you don't start him you start you give someone else a chance I mean how bad can 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 Bade be or Bolly or Biancone who who looked really good in pre-season how bad can he be that Scott McKenna and Steve Cook Steve Cook was captain against Leicester why 
why and I, I i like these players don't get me wrong but i'm just not sure that they're premier league quality if we play in a back three and when near is there you can kind of get it you can kind of understand okay near has got a bit of pace so actually he can cover for the other two who are more physical more brutish but we've not had near Carte since the second game of the season we, we, we've had five games to sort that out and it's kind of embarrassing that we can't see that someone like Bardé or or Biancone deserve a chance there. And I want to move on to the second problem of the Forest right now, and it's confidence. It is pure and simple. It is confidence. A lot of these players are not the same players that they were at their previous clubs or at Forest last season. It's all down to confidence. That Bournemouth game has completely shot any sort of self-belief that half of this team have. You look at Johnson's chance when Aaron E hit it into Ward and then it came back out to him. Edge of the box, goal wide open, and it's a bad first touch. Last season, that would, that would have been in. That would have gone straight in. It, it, it would have been unfathomable that, that Johnson wouldn't have put that in. Johnson has the ability to do that. It's just a lack of confidence. That Bournemouth game was a, was a, was a nightmare. was actually just mind-blowingly, wow, what's happened here? And then to do that again against Fulham, against the two promoted sides, the two teams that we got promoted with, it's, it's worrying. It is worrying. And the players must be feeling that. And you can see it on the pitch. You look at someone like Morgan Gibbs-White, who when he came in against Everton, those first few games, an incredible, incredible creative output and had the confidence and the flair to take players on and was providing this whole new dimension to the team. Yesterday, he looked scared. He looked scared and he was bullied by an out-of-form Tielemans. It was, yeah, it is confidence. It is massively confidence. And the man with the least amount of confidence but the most ability in this squad is Jesse Lingard. I promise you, this man will come good if we just give him time. And I know time is not on our side. It's been 23 years since we have been here. We don't have time to piss about. But just give him more of a chance. And this is my whole cry to Forest fans that don't see this. We have a team here. Somewhere we have a team. But not yet. It needs to be moulded. And the man to do that is Steve Cooper. But... And this is a horrible but, and this is the horrible hypothetical that looks like it's going to come true. We're not going to have Steve Cooper for that much longer, I don't think. Um, I think the owners are are temperamental, and I think it will will not end well for Cooper. And I I think the fact that people are going shit or bust at this Aston Villa game is is farcical. If you're going to sack Cooper, sack him now and let's get someone else in. It, it just shows another kind of... seems a bit like Forrest has become a bit of a plaything for, for Maranakis and his son. And I hope this is wrong because I was so, so happy with him over, over the summer. But you can only go off what you what you hear and, and, and you don't believe everything you hear. And it just suddenly feels like Cooper and Murphy have no control. And with that, it's only a matter of time before these two men leave the club. And so who do we bring in? Who do we bring in? Please, Lord... Do not let it be Rafa Benitez. If it is Rafa Benitez and this club is getting relegated with a big, big debt, because that man isn't going to come cheap. He knows where he can... He finds a payday. He takes it. He does a mediocre job, not really caring, and then he leaves. It happened at Newcastle and it happened most prominently at, at Everton. This man is not the man that we need to galvanate. This, this very disparate, this very disconnected squad that we have. He is not the man at all please for for the sake of everything that is good do not let it be Rafa Benitez I know he's won trophies in the past and I know he is a capable manager or was a capable manager but so was Steve McLaren all right Steve McLaren has trophies to his name can you imagine if we were linked with the Wally it would be it would be a nightmare so do not do not make this mistake if you're going to sack Cooper Forrest do not make this mistake And the second man who is sort of heavily linked with us is Sean Dyche. And this one I do get. If we are to sack Cooper, then Sean Dyche is the guy I want to bring in. And I know, I know a lot of people will say, oh, he's Chris Hewton 2.0 because their playing styles and how they like to set up their teams is very similar. But Dyche is just the level above. Dyche is absolutely the mastermind behind why Burnley stayed up for so long and can form mishmash squads together into a team and I think that is is possibly what we need if if we are to sack Cooper and I I I don't want us to and I think he's a better option than Dyche but the second best option we have is is Sean Dyche and a Forest fan as well been to every game this season 
if he comes in, he, he's gonna he's gonna know where the faults are. He, he's gonna or have his own opinion certainly. And with a uh, Stone and Wone as well, you know, it's 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 a it's a nice reunion if nothing else, as we see ourselves trickle back down into the championship. But let's just hope it's not any of these. Let's hope we don't have to think about Daesh or Benitez. Let's hope that the board can see the project that Steve Cooper is trying to build, see the talent that that manager has, and keep the faith. And I think that's a massive, massive thing for all of us Forest fans right now, is keep the faith. It wasn't all sunshine and rainbows last season, despite most of it being. I'm not saying it wasn't a fantastic season. It was. Best season of my life. But there have been hard times. And there were a few runs where actually we didn't look that great. And I'm looking at that Fulham 4-0 game, which was a little bit of a freak game. But maybe the Leicester, maybe Leicester last night was a freak game. The Bournemouth game then, and the Fulham game, mistakes, but fixable. Man City, everyone gets spanked by Man City, it's just the rule. Tottenham, we played really, really well. We, we could have got something from that game, and we were proud of that performance. Everton, probably should have won that one, to be honest. It was stupid defending at the end. We played well. West Ham, defended like our lives depended on it. We did really, really well. What a fantastic performance. And then Newcastle was just a reality check. All these performances, all I'm saying is things aren't as bad as it seems at Forest. I know the league position is grim right now, but it really is not as bad as it seems. I feel like give it time, give Cooper the patience that he has earned and we will reap our rewards. I promise you that. It is all about giving this team, this manager and and the CEO, all right? Give Murphy some time because that man knows how to find players. Time, patience, and faith. That's my message today for Forest fans. And I hope you did enjoy this video. Obviously, these are all my opinions. So if you disagree, leave a comment. Follow me on Twitter. Talk to me about it on Twitter. I, I, I'm interested to see all Forest fans' opinions. I'm not necessarily saying I'm right. It's, it's a game of opinions. This is mine. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Come on, you Reds.